welcome to epg parshala today we are going to discuss about digital library initiatives in india the module digital library initiatives in india is divided in two parts this is the second part of the module the first part has covered the problem encountered for digital library initiatives in india and major digital library initiatives in india the second part of the module elaborates on initiatives taken towards library consortia open courseware and metadata harvesting services information is considered as fulcrum for power and prosperity it is very essential for economic and social development of the society the revolution in information and communication technology has started delivering information in digital format with greater speed and economy which triggered the development of digital library the open source software movements added newer avenues for greater expansion of digital libraries worldwide the popularity of the word digital library can be traced to digital library initiatives that were started in 1994 as a joint initiatives of national science foundation Department of Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency and National Aeronautics and Space Administration The landmark initiatives that lead the path towards the digital library movements are Mercury projects at CMU core projects at Cornell University and Tulip projects and Envision at Cornell Institute of Digital Collection Open Book Project at Yale University, Network Digital Library of Thesis and Dissertation, and National Science, Mathematics, Engineering, and Technology Education Digital Library, that is NSDL. Now let's discuss about the current digital library initiatives in India towards library consortia, open courseware, and metadata harvesting services. Library consortia in India. Access to digital collections, either directly or through library consortia, can be considered as a major component of digital library collection infrastructure. Access to digital collections, either directly or through library consortia, can be considered as a major component of digital library collection infrastructure. Let's take a view of major library consortia in India. which provides access to peer reviewed journals to their member institutions ugc infonet digital library consortium the ugc infonet digital library consortium was launched by dr apj abdul kalam the former president of india in december 2003 the consortium provides current as well as archival access to more than 8500 core and peer reviewed electronic journals and 10 bibliographic databases from 28 publishers scholarly societies and aggregators including university presses in different disciplines to 206 core members universities and 204 institutions covered under associate membership program this resources covers almost all subject disciplines including arts humanities social sciences physical sciences chemical sciences life sciences computer sciences mathematics statistics etc indus aict e consortium the indian national digital library in engineering science and technology that is indus consortium was set up by ministry of human resource development in the year 2003 to provide access to peer reviewed journals and ten bibliographical databases to technical institutions including iisc iits nits iims and a few other centrally funded government institutions nkrc consortium the national knowledge resource consortium that is nkrc established in the year 2009 is a network of libraries and inform centers of 39 CSIR and 24 DST institutes NKRC facilitates access to more than 8000 e-journals of all major publishers 
patents, standards, citation, and bibliographic databases to its member institutions. MCIT Consortium the Ministry of Communication and Information Technology Consortium caters to the information requirement of nine institutions, including NIC, CDET, and CDOT, with its offices in multiple locations. Set up in 2005 with funding from Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, the consortium provides access to 1,818 e-journals and 14,000 e-books to its member institutions. DAE Consortium The Department of Atomic Energy that is DAE, Consortium set up in 2003 caters to the information requirement of 36 institutions including BARC, TIFR and SEMIR. The consortium provides access to 2,000 peer-reviewed journals from four publishers to its member institutions. Electronic Resources in Medicine, ARMED Consortium The Electronic Resources in Medicine, that is ARMED Consortium was set up in 2008 to develop nationwide electronic information resources in the field of medicine for delivering effective health care for all. DRDO e-journal consortium. DRDO e-journal consortium was established on January 2009 to provide access to e-resources to science and technology community of DRDO. The consortium is governed by monitoring committee. The consortium is governed by a monitoring committee having the representatives from different subject clusters and headquarters. It provides access to 568 full text e journals to 50 DRDO labs. DBT e library consortium. DBT e library consortium, which is also known as DELCON, is funded by Department of Biotechnology. Established in 2009, the consortium provides access to more than 600 journals and bibliographic database to 33 member institutions, which includes 14 DBT institutions and 18 institutions located in Northeastern region and Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Program. Consortium for e-resources in agriculture. The Consortium for E-Resources in Agriculture is also known as SERA, an ambitious initiative from Indian Agriculture Research Institute, aims to provide scholarly information in broad spectrum of agricultural science to foster academic quality research amongst its institutes and other agricultural universities. It provides access to 1,766 peer-reviewed e-journals and three bibliographic databases. National Library and Information Services Infrastructure for Scholarly Content, that is NLIST. The project entitled the National Library and Information Services Infrastructure for Scholarly Content is funded by MHRD under its National Mission on Education through ICT. It was formally launched by Honorable Union Minister of Human Resource Development, Sri Kapil Sibal, on 4th May 2010 at Shastri Bhavan, New Delhi. The NS program provides access to more than 6,000 e-journals and 97,000 e-books to colleges. Now the NS program is merged into e Sindhu. Now let's take a view on online courseware. NPTEL, National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning, is an open courseware initiative by seven Indian Institute of Technology and Indian Institute of Science. This initiative is funded by Ministry of Human Resource Development. The main objective of this program is to enhance the quality of engineering education in country by developing more than 200 curricula-based video and web courses. Indira Gandhi National Open University has initiated the establishment of National Digital Repository of Learning Resources, Igyan Kosh. The repository envisages to store, index, preserve, 
distribute and share the digital learning resources of open and distance learning institutions in the country. The repository supports seamless aggregation and integration of learning resources in different formats such as self-instructional study materials, audio-video programs, and archives of radio and television-based live interactive sessions. Consortium for Educational Communication, CEC, has established the Learning Object Repositories, that is LOR, to provide worldwide access to qualitative learning resources. The LOR is a bank of short duration, reusable learning objects for special benefits to students and teachers for face-to-face -face learning as well as other users globally. EPG Parshala EPG Parshala funded by the MHRD under its National Mission on Education through ICT. High-quality curriculum-based interactive content in 77 subjects is being developed under these initiatives. MHRD under its National Mission on Education through ICT has allocated funds to the CEC for development of e-content at undergraduate level. The content will be created in two phases. In phase 1, it covered 19 subjects and in phase 2, it will cover 68 subjects. Now let's take a view on initiatives towards data harvesting service provider. Metadata harvesting service harvest or index metadata from OAI compliant archives or repositories through harvesting software that supports a protocol known as OAI PMH that is Open Access Initiatives Protocol for Metadata Harvesting. Let's take a view of some metadata harvesting service experimented by Indian institutions. Open Index Initiative Open Index Initiatives is cooperative initiative to index social science literature published in India. It is implemented by Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research, Mumbai. Metamed Metamed is initiative taken by Indian Medlar Center, NIC, New Delhi to harvest the data. Search Digital Library, SDL the SDL initiative is taken by Documentation and Research and Training Center, that is DRTC, Indian Statistical Institute, Bangalore. The SDL currently has 40,954 records from 18 national and international repositories in area of information management, knowledge management, documentation, communication, and ICT. Other initiative includes the Traditional Knowledge Digital Library. It is also known as TKDL. The Traditional Knowledge Digital Library is a collaborative project of National Institute of Science, Communication and Information Resources, NISCARE, the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, the Ministry of Science and Technology and Department of Ayush and the Ministry of Healthcare and Family Welfare, which is being implemented at NISCARE. The project documents the public domain traditional knowledge related to Ayurveda, Yunani, and Siddha in five international languages that is English, German, French, Japanese, and Spanish. The archives of Indian labor were created by the V.V. Giri National Labor Institute and the Associations of Indian Labor Historians. The archives preserves documents, builds collection, and initiates the research in labor history. Thank you.